Shalom and welcome to the last episode of our series on emotions. We've explored a lot about emotions this last week, knowing that it's a gift of God, that we need to be able to guard the passions of our emotions, that God knows each one of our feelings. We've also seen the way how the way we can be emotionally whole by feeding on God's word rather than the lies that we have heard. Today, to wrap the entire episode, we see God as the restorer of our souls. You know, these challenges and heartaches that come often leaves life unscathed. But scripture shows us that, law, that the Lord is the healer and the restorer of our souls. So just like you and I go to him for the healing of our bodies or for the healing of our spirits, you and I can go to him for the restoration of our souls. We see David writing this in Psalm 23, verse 3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. The very word restore means to bring back or to put something back to its former or original state. And this is something only God can do to restore us back to our former state, to the way that He designed for us. Our soul is a very important part of us. So since God is the one who made us and our souls, it is only He who can completely restore and repair us back to our original state. If we, in our strength, try to restore ourselves, we know that it is not going to be possible or we will fail multiple points of times. And so God has given us the answer of how our souls can be restored. Our souls are restored again by the Word of God. Psalm 19 verse 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the whole person. So what we see in this verse is that He restores our soul through the law of the Lord. And it is a process of feeding our minds, just like we saw yesterday. And we, we see that this is a privilege for all those who are redeemed through Jesus Christ. Jesus promised rest for all who come to Him for all who trust Him as their personal Saviour. So it is important to be sure of our salvation and our relationship with God. Through the Bible, we see many examples of godly men and women who faced similar situations. King David himself wrote so many Psalms during the dark times of his life and it serves to encourage us when we are depressed or when we are discouraged. Because David experienced the joy of a soul being restored by God. Let us today also experience that same joy of being restored by God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so glad that we have a God who restores, brings back, to its original state, our souls and our minds and our emotions. Lord, we bring it before you and we ask that you heal us from every hurt, from every pain, from every brokenness that we may be experiencing today. When restoration comes from you, it is there to be. Thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.